Hello friends, this is my end of 2020 grocery haul. I'm actually, I actually did my shopping right before Christmas, but you won't see this video until right before New Year's. So there's a, just a few little things for Christmas in this haul, but mostly for New Year's. Um, we try to have not a party really, other because it's just basically our family. <laughs> um, this year we're thinking about inviting a friend over, a uh, couple, but I, we haven't decided yet. But anyway, we always like to do an appetizer party on New Year's Eve, so you'll see a lot of those types of things in this haul. All right, let me turn this camera around and let's get started. So this is what I picked up from Dollar General. Um, I got two of these dinner plates two matching dessert plates and a package of napkins. This is actually going to be for New Year's Eve. Um, we're gonna have at least um, my niece Lydia is coming over and I haven't decided yet if we're going to invite some other family friends, but I wanted to make sure we had plenty of plates for that. This is a razor set that Olivia wanted, so I got that for her. Got some more of the sinus pills that we use. Some tape because I have to do some gift wrapping. I got some of these um, wax melts for my dad for his wax melt burner. I got two of these 70 LED icicle lights. They were very, very, very slim pickings on their Christmas stuff. And I still wanted to pick up a few more Christmas lights uh, to use out throughout the year. So I picked up those, that's basically all they had left. And then I got two of the red sparkling grape juice. We'll probably have this for New Year's Eve. Okay, I'll get this stuff put away and then I will show you what I got at Kroger. All right, this is everything I picked up from Kroger. On Christmas, I do brown and serve rolls. I do my homemade fancy rolls at Thanksgiving, but on Christmas I do brown and serve, and my family absolutely loves them, so I got three packages of those. I got some more Slim Jims for Scott. I got two packages of Mild, two packages of Original. I got some more of my uh, Spearmint Gum. I got some green onions. I'm going to be making a dairy-free cheese ball as one of our appetizers for New Year's Eve or maybe Christmas. Actually, it's gonna be for Christmas. Um, we do cheese and cracker and so summer sausage tray for Christmas, and I'm, this year I'm gonna do a dairy-free cheese ball as well. Um, I got four loaves of bread. Last time, last two weeks, we ran out of bread, so I got an extra loaf. I got some Nature Valley granola bars. These are mine, the fruit and nut. And then I got these for Scott, sweet and salty. I got some pepperonis. This is gonna go on the cheese and cracker tray because Travis doesn't care for summer sausage. He says it's too greasy and it kind of upsets his stomach. So I just thought we'd get some pepperoni and he could have pepperoni if he wanted. Um, I'm going to make a bouche de Noel Yule log for New Year's Eve and the filling is um, seedless. Uh, it said red raspberry, but I got the blackberry preserves. You just put a layer of that in the middle of the cake. I got some Enjoy Life mini chocolate chips, some organic semi-sweet chocolate chips. I got some black peppercorns. I'm gonna have to find a good source for peppercorns in bulk because this is a tiny little can that won't last us very long. <laughs> I got some pizza sauce, some organic butter than bouillon chicken, some soy sauce, some chow mein noodles, two cans of beefy mushroom soup, four pack of French style green beans, four cans of chicken broth, Two of the Annie's Vegan Mac, mac and cheese for um, Olivia and I. Some multi-purpose or all-purpose um, flour. Some Mountain Dew for Travis's lunch. Three bags of chicken strips. I got two bags last time and the family said it wasn't enough. 
so I ended up getting an extra bag. I got some golden shoestring potatoes. The dogs are playing, so if you hear that growling, it's their playing, <laughs> Sally and Oliver. Um, these to go with the chicken strips. I got a bag of Pink Lady organic apples. Some wheat thins, this is to go with the cheese ball and cheese tray for uh, Christmas. Got two things of turkey meatballs. I'm gonna make meatballs for um, New Year's. And these bags are not nearly as big as I thought they were gonna be, so I may have to make a special extra trip over to Kroger to get a couple more bags, depending on if we have company or not. Got some popcorn. We're going to make some mold. It's uh, it's actually for wine, but we don't drink alcohol in this house. So I just got some of this Concord grape juice, and we're going to make mold grape juice for Christmas. I got two bags of shredded cheese, dairy-free, um, cheddar, and two of mozzarella. I got two of the dairy-free cream cheese. This is for the cheese ball, as well as some of this. I got some organic potatoes. I got some more creamer. I got the silk vanilla, two different kinds of silk vanilla. This is soy milk, this is almond milk, and then I got the sweet and creamy. I got two pounds of our plant butter, as well as some avocado oils, uh, plant-based butter. Two things of chow, dairy-free cheese, and a ham. We always have ham on Christmas. I think that is everything. Let me get this stuff put away and I'll show you what I got from Aldi. All right, this is everything I picked up from Aldi. I got two packs of these whole wheat tortillas, two bags of plain bagels, and three bags of everything bagels. One loaf of sprouted grain bread. I got some tortilla strips. I always get those, but I got those specifically because I'm going to make like a taco dip for New Year's Eve. So I'm gonna to have to keep the family out of those chips for about a week, week and a half. I got four bags of the pork rinds. I originally ordered two regular and two of the hot and spicy, and they didn't have the hot and spicy, so they substituted original, which is fine. I got a thing of cocktail peanuts, some maple syrup. I got another jar of the maraschino cherries. If Olivia decides she wants to make those cherry cookies again. We'll have these in the cupboard. This is a good time of year to get those maraschino cherries. I got some onions. I got two bunches of organic bananas. They're slightly green. I got a thing of navel oranges. I got some barbecue sauce and some grape jelly. This is what I make my meatballs. Um, you mix like... Stop it! Digging. We mix like equal portions of barbecue sauce and grape jelly, mix it together, pour it over uh, uh, meatballs in the crock pot and let them cook. And it's really delicious. We put some chopped walnuts for the cheese ball I'm going to make. Here is the summer sausage for the sausage and cheese and crackers. Got some cheese sticks for Scott just for snacking on, some mozzarella and some more of the habanero jack. Um, I got this cheese party tray. This is for uh, whoever doesn't want to eat the cheese ball or if they want, mainly Scott and Travis because Olivia and I can't do regular cheese, but if they don't like the cheese ball or if they want something different, I got one tray of that. I got some more thin meat for sandwiches. We just throw these in the freezer and then they can get them out and thaw them and make a sandwich for work. I got nine bottles of sparkling water for Scott, three of the lemon lime, three berry, three grapefruit, got a half a gallon of unsweetened almond milk. I got one thing of French vanilla coffee creamer for Travis and a thing of half and half for Scott. I got some regular Colby Jack cheese just for cooking and some American cheese slices for sandwiches. These are the crackers that I got for Christmas for the cheese ball and the cheese and sausage. I got some of the club crackers, some of the rosemary. These are like Triscuits. And then I got some of these golden round crackers. These appetizers are for New Year's Eve. I got some shrimp, the coconut breaded shrimp, and then the regular shrimp. 
got some of these Korean wontons. These don't have any dairy in, so Olivia and I can have some of those. And then I got these for Scott and Travis specifically, and, or those who can eat cheese. This is just a mozzarella cheese stick. And then these are cream cheese, cream cheese stuffed jalapeno peppers. I got three dozen eggs. I got some frozen broccoli two bags. Two pounds of frozen ground turkey. I did get another ham. Olivia asked me, why did you get two hams? Well, the reason is, is when you do online orders, you never know. You can put it in your cart, you can expect to get it, and then the day you go pick it up, they'll say it's not available. We always do ham for Christmas, and so I wanted to make sure we had a ham. So I figured if I ordered one from Kroger and one from Aldi, the worst that could happen is that I'd get two hams. So that's what ended up happening. I ended up getting two hams, but that's fine. We'll throw one in the freezer for probably Easter, and so now we'll have our Easter ham. I got one rising crust frozen pizza for Travis. I got some more uh, Christmas lights. They had these at Aldi, so I picked those up. Got my non-food items here. Dish tabs for the dishwasher, paper towels, napkins, two things of paper plates. They had some really nice looking candles. So I bought them without smelling them, but I thought they sounded good. This is vanilla and myrrh. And this one is mahogany and amber. So I'm gonna smell them and so is Olivia. So we'll try the vanilla and myrrh first. Hmm, smells good. It smells kind of like sweet. All you smell is vanilla. Yeah, that's what I smelled. This is the vanilla. Maybe it's when good. it burns, but I'm not really sure what myrrh smells like anyway, so. And then this is the mahogany and amber. I love amber. Oh, I do too. Oh yeah, I like this one. I like them both, but I like this one better. Mm. You like it too? Yeah. So I, I didn't think I could go wrong with those two scents because we love amber and we love vanilla. So got that. We got some more oyster crackers. We've been, you know, drinking or eating a lot of soup and that those go good in soup. I got another jar of this ghee. This makes excellent grilled cheese sandwiches and it's really good on popcorn as well. For Olivia and I, this has none of the things in it that are um, what we're allergic to. There's no protein in it. So it gives us the taste of butter without the side effects, the negative side effects that we get from dairy products. He's chasing his tail. I got two cans of the crushed pineapple. One is for a jello salad that I make for Christmas and the other can is for a um, pineapple braid that I make for Christmas morning for breakfast. Got a jar of salsa, two cans of um, canned chicken. Got two loaves of the oat and honey bread. Scott and I really like that. And I'm back over to the navel oranges. So I think that I got everything. I don't think I missed anything. So that is what I picked up from Aldi. Well, this is round two of Dollar General. Scott got home from work and we went back over there because I realized that I forgot to get orange juice for Christmas morning. The kids like to mix orange juice and sparkling white grape juice together for a little special drink on Christmas morning, and I forgot to get the orange juice. And thankfully, Dollar General had it, and they had name brand and with no pulp, because they don't like pulp. And then I went ahead and picked up some mixed nuts. I got to thinking about it. I'm making trail mix, not trail mix, um, Chex Mix tomorrow, and I don't think one can of mixed nuts is gonna be enough, so I went ahead and got another can. I got this window cleaner mainly because I need the spray bottle and they did not have any empty spray bottles. So this is only a dollar and I will dump the window cleaner into a different container so that I can use this spray bottle. I need it for a floor cleaner. Um, so it's not like I needed it for 
just watering for my plants or something. I needed it for a cleaner. But yeah, so I went ahead and picked that up. Then I saw these. I'll go ahead and take those over to my dad too. Wax melt burner, or wax melts for his wax melt burner. This is the vanilla. And then I picked up two bags of this bar mix. This is going to be for our New Year's Eve quote unquote party. Um, it's mainly going to be family. We are going to invite a few friends over, but we don't know if they'll be able to make it or not. But um, I don't know. I just got to thinking. I don't, don't think I have enough little choices for um, appetizers. So I went ahead and picked up some of this bar mix. And that's it. And now I am officially done, ready for the holidays. <laughs> And luckily, I know that if I do realize I forgot something, Dollar General is just a couple miles away. All right, friends, that is my last grocery haul for 2020. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a big one. I had a lot of extra treats and things in this. And I look at the table after I spread it all out, and I think, how did I spend almost $200 at Aldi <laughs> and another $200 at uh, Kroger. I'm telling you, food prices are crazy. Anyway, I hope you all have a very, very, very safe and happy new year. And let's all pray that 2021 is a hundred times better than 2020. We'll talk to you later, friends. Bye-bye.